welcome back to Obey and back in the chair part four. Keith is over there. Kermo's back with us as well. And uh, the the brothers have gone. The uh, look, looking at the shirts and stuff. Very relaxed. Out of lower city. Has he always been that relaxed, Jonesy? Laid back, isn't he? So oh, that's, it, right. fall over. That's, that's why I had to keep shouting at him on the field because he'd, he'd do something great, but then he'd go to sleep for ten minutes. He needed a breather. Out of gold, the one he'd do out for. Oh, he did. He's, he's a immense block. He, he, it was his faith, and that's what he, he saved you, mate. He saved you. Yeah, he's actually. I thought we were going to talk about him, mate. We did, but we got rushed on, didn't we? And uh, we didn't get a chance to probably talk about the most important thing about faith. Is it? Is it you know, really, they've got me at one side, the devil getting into your ear, and then you've got Ali the other side. He's uh, giving you all the good stuff. That was it, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, we're going to talk a bit about balls now, and that's odd balls because. Uh, talk about Rob again. <laughs> not Rob, no, not Rob this time. Uh, there is odd ball pants, and they are being sold to a lot of rugby league boys and promoted it. See, Kim, where you were in your odd balls and you got smashed in the face with a uh, snowball. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did, yeah. Uh, so they've sent us some odd balls pants, and basically 10% of the profit goes to uh, testicular cancer, which is uh, good. Keefe was uh, bagging him a bit, but they sent him some free pants, and you like it for note. Correct. That's right. There you go, kid. There's some. There you go, some, some free pants. Right, we're going to get into. We've got. We're going to wait for the Crossbow Challenge, but we'll, we'll do the tweets of the week first, right? Because this weekend we had some great mm. tweets, knocking about. Good win on the road to Wembley. Thanks for all your massive support. That's John, is it our Bu Buadza? Buzi? Buzi? Oh, the French guy. Yeah, yeah. Bu yeah. Bu yeah. Bu or something. Yeah. yeah. Terry Campese as well. Very proud of the lads tonight. Um, great team. Thanks to all our fans. Awesome support. Keith, it looks like Campesi and Tilsa were the difference. They came back to the car. Uh, I spoke to Dono and he said that he, he's just a massive player. And they, they're they tipping him this year for Man of Steel. Can you see that, Man of Steel, Terry Campesi? I can't see it, no, but he's been a massive improvement for them. I, I probably was one of his biggest sceptics when he came over. He's got a little bit of age. Everybody was talking about his bad knees, but he uh, seems to be doing the goods at the moment. You know what uh, I'm like with me Aussies. Uh, talking about Aussies, you like this one. Great touch from the Wolves RL coach Tony Smith, your favourite person, <laughs> to congratulate the Roms players in the changing room following tonight's match. Oh, Tony. Nice touch. He was, he's a polite guy. Every morning he'd go around the players, wasn't he, saying good morning just to find out how everybody was. Can't beat good manners, can you, Jones? No, manners cost absolutely nothing whatsoever. Uh, last tweet we'll do from Leon Price, who we saw this weekend. We did, yeah. Uh, good win, good performance. Congrats to uh, his travelling partner, Noggers won Kurt Norton, on his hat trick. Always nice to get a hat trick. Right, we're going to go to the Wakefield Kicking Challenge. Kermo, you killed it, mate. You smashed it, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I don't know. Riley. It's natural, yeah. Mate, just check this out. Wakefield Kicking Challenge. Paul McShane, Wakefield 20, Booker. Stand up. You've got to go to the right side. Come on, wing turn back row. Oh, yeah. Come in. 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 Oh,
Welcome back, Kermot. There's no way on earth you hit that uh, crossbar there. I did, mate. GoPro were like six inch front post, and I hit it behind the GoPro. Sure and I aimed, I aimed for that bit as well. Sure it vibrate. Yeah, it did. You, you can see it. That bit. Yeah, they, well, I, I thought the GoPro was facing the other awesome way. Kicking. We got we missed the tweet out anyway, um, <laughs> and it's it's from um, a picture of all the Leeds Lee fans from Martin Ridyard. Our fans are outstanding. Very very loud today. 18th man. We'll not talk about the first half though. <laughs> Looking forward to getting to the Halliwell Jones and smashing Warrington off the park. So put, I didn't really put that bit, but I thought I'd add that for effect. <laughs> <laughs> but the Lee fans, there's a picture of them there you can see on screen now. You said they're a bit a bit noisy, a bit loud. Yeah, they were good. They had, I think they had 3,000 there, which... 3,000? Yeah, yeah, they sold 3,000 tickets no. or something like that, yeah, which is obviously very good, and they, they were loud and... So they're giving you some grief when you got seen bin. <laughs> yeah, they were, yeah. They've got uh, plenty of characters behind our dugout, uh, banging on dugout and things like that. Um, but it's an old ground house, so they can get close to the players. So it was, it was good. I enjoyed it. A bit of banter with them, and yeah, obviously I'd have liked to come out on top, so I could have probably given them a bit more. But yeah. It's, well, the uh, fans knew that they were safe because after showing you swing, and they knew that you weren't going to batter yeah, them after yeah. that, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> keep I can't really you. say it to keep because he's thrown a few bombs in his time. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's my first time I'm improving, Keith. That's that's it. I'm a former wing. Yeah. I'm a former winger. Yeah. I've I've come into the middle of the pitch playing it a bit tougher, and and now I've thrown a punch after 12 years of playing. You know, I'm getting there gradually. Hey, getting there. Next yeah. Yeah. This is it. I can only improve from my time from um, 10k. So it's, yeah. things will only get better, Keith. Right tonight in Super League, Castleford versus Huddersfield Giants, and I'll be down at the game interviewing fans before they go in, talking to them about Magic Weekend. So if you see me, come and talk to me. If you go into Magic Weekend, please come and find me. I'll be around the ground having a laugh with some fans, Huddersfield and Cast fans, and a bit of banter, and you'll see it on the show next week. If you, well, you can't, can't miss him, him. <laughs> you can't see him, you'll be away, isn't it? Yeah, without a doubt, you'll be, you won't miss me. Friday night, all FC versus St. Helens. Feeling that one, Keith, at LFC? Another win, maybe, on good form? Yeah, they are. Uh, well, we said, you know, St. Helens could have probably got a better score last week, but Kieran probably rested a few. You know, me, Jonesy, I like to say how it is, but uh, I, th I think Saints will get that win. Leeds Rhinos versus LKR. Tough team coming up, Campo. And the boys, Dono, wants to get one over on you, he says. Yeah, mate, they're uh, playing pretty well, a great win. Obviously against Wigan and that all installed a lot of confidence and as you say, compares to a good play for them. Uh, I think we're fortunate to have quite a few home games now coming up and it's always yeah. nice to play at Edinley. The Rebunion is finished so the grass is looking pristine uh, and in terms of preparation the lads will be ready for it but uh, it'll be a tough game. I'm good, I'm at a wedding so I can't make the game but the family will be there, the Alas and the kids will be there. Um, Friday night also, Salford versus Warrington, the £5 game, Marwan has gone all out and offered uh, tickets in the south and east stand, I believe, at just five pounds. And under twelves in free. Desperate to get fans in the AJ belt. Been struggling, Kermo. Yeah, it just doesn't seem to work for him, does it? Getting getting the fans in. He's obviously spent some more money this year and got some good players. I think they've struggled with injuries and stuff, but still playing quite well with, with the numbers that they've got. But yeah, it just doesn't seem to be happening for him, does it? I was doing some uh, IT training recently. Odd, odd random. But, uh, I was doing some statistical analysis on uh, attendances for Super League grounds, and Salford's actually uh, massive in terms of increases compared to the other clubs. So he's, he's getting them there, just needs to obviously continue the trend yeah. as it goes in the lingo. It, it's a tough one, isn't it? Because they've got such a good team on paper, you'd think, yeah. that and win, success brings fans in, everybody knows that. And uh, one thing that I always say in club land, an old analogy Simon Oates gave me, Busy clubs get busier, quiet clubs get quieter. So, and I think it's, it works in most walks of life. And uh, yeah, just took volume up and more people coming. Somewhat like that, yeah. Well, we've had some shockers. Uh, Saturday night, Catalan versus Wigan Warriors. Uh, tough place to go for Wigan. You were loving it last week when they got beat. I, I, I walked in the, in the chair, <laughs> and when, when that result came, you were like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah!" <laughs> you <laughs> really were. <laughs> we were, but Lindsay really was. It's all right. <laughs> and Sunday came up, Wake It versus White uh, Witness. White Haven. <laughs> You've been hoping for White Haven. White Haven. <laughs> White Haven. <laughs> White Haven <the> <laughs> End of season, kid. Uh, no, Wake Witness, Kev Brown, longest deck in the world. Uh, coming to town, is it, is it a must win? Do you need to show your fans you've got something in, your, in the tank? I think that's important, yeah. I wouldn't say it's a must win, but 
it's it's definitely important that we we improve our performance as I, as I said earlier in the show where obviously the fans are struggling a little bit and uh, probably getting a bit disillusioned at things uh, yeah butter. yeah Have some butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's giving me a bit I've, yeah Twitter's been rife with it at the moment you know uh, but you've got to accept it from fans you know like like you say they, they pay the money and and they everyone's allowed their opinion I think it's a bit different now with things like Twitter and stuff like that that you're so accessible and they can say what what they want to whereas back in the day they might have said something to a few players and probably got one inch in it but yeah. in the pub or something like that but yeah I don't mind it as I say everyone's entitled to the opinion I know that I'm trying my best week in week out you don't always play your best if you go to work you don't always do your best at work do you but it's just one of those things at the moment, but just work hard to, to make things right. Well, you've got our fair share of opinions, obviously, down at the uh, Butlins. Yep. Rhinos Challenge Camp this weekend. Obviously, people look at me, see a Leeds player. They don't really see the rugby arm guy, but went down there with his rugby arm hats on and got some great little VTs with some good little stars in the future, some Super League legends. Mate, of, uh, there's some absolute ridiculous talent for the ages we've seen this weekend. Nice. And uh, one thing I would say, next week, um, we're not filming in the studio, we're out and about. We're doing a full show live from Butlins because we thought it'd be such a good opportunity to get out amongst the junior teams and r amongst the rugby league community. So the full show is live next week from Butlins. So make sure you tune in, spread the word, tell everyone to tune in and watch. Anyway, check out www.rugbyam.co.uk. Remember, 200 grand for Kermo. 250 of the blowtorch, 300 grand big girl. We're coming for you, big girl. Danny Jones, we're going to raise some money for the main man and uh, and his family. So let's get behind him and let's uh, blowtorch Jones's face. Thanks for watching tonight, Rugby M. It's been awesome as always. Keith is back. Kermo, we're all right, not bad. And uh, yeah, thank you. Good night. God bless.